Good evening. There is a heated debate on whether or not to put up more than 100 wind turbines in southern Wells County. Tonight, people had a chance to voice their opinions on this matter. News Channel 15's Megan Royce was at that meeting. So, Megan, what do folks there have to say about it? Mark, there were mixed emotions from the crowd tonight. It's hard to say how many people are for building these wind turbines. Most of the folks turned out to see if their land would be affected. That's going to definitely change the countryside. There's no question about that. I really hate to see the farm ground used for this purpose. More than 100 people turned out to learn about a proposal to build wind turbines in southern Wells County. General interest in what's going on. Um, we've had, had some people with questions about how noisy they will be, what, if they will have shadow flicker impact, or how close they are to their residence or property lines. One woman's concern the wind turbine company isn't telling the whole story. Story. She says there are a lot of questions about whether the energy gained from the turbines will even be used in Wells County. In reality, it is going to go, the electricity is going to go into a national grid and then from there be dispersed into your larger cities. Farmers came to see where these turbines will be placed. I was just a little concerned as far as. Uh, where the turbines were going to be, how roads were going to be laid out, that kind of thing, so we don't have a bunch of point rows or uh, you know, angles. All in all, the Planning Commission says there will be a benefit to the county. Could drastically or at least reduce the real estate taxes for farmland and for houses in the townships that have turbines. Everyone's weighing whether it's worth it to build these turbines. I think they'll find them very annoying. I think for the environment, it's probably a, a positive type of energy. Chester, Liberty, and Nottingham Townships are where they're proposing to build more than 100 turbines. If everything goes as planned, they could break ground as early as the second half of 2012. Okay, we'll see. Thanks, Megan.